Hey guys, Swabalik here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines, oh sorry, Let's Bridge, where we'll be working on a bridge, uh, specifically this one. Uh, and I mean, not so much the bridge today, uh, kind of, you know, related to it though, I want to continue working on this sort of, uh, Elevated, I guess it's, it's basically a highway at this point. That's kind of how we're using it. Uh, I want to keep working on this because I, I do want to connect this bridge up to the main uh, roadway, the main elevated roadway that we have sort of running through the rest of the city because, it, I mean, it, it makes sense. It really should be. And it would also mean that we'd sort of stop. Uh, and, cause was, and this whole issue through here for the longest time has been really bad. We have so many people trying to go right, most of them like trucks anyway. And I just get stuck at all these sets of traffic lights trying to get down here. But I was trying to figure out the best way to actually do this without, I guess, almost in sort of a realistic redevelopment way in the sense that, um, sure, we could just like level the area and rebuild it from scratch, but I want to try and like fit it in in a way that kind of makes sense. So I was having a look at this, um, not Kate Finch, at the, uh, <laughs> the tram line here, which is basically not used. It's been, I think it's been pretty crap since I put it in. I, I had high hopes for it. But we're basically down to three vehicles and there's barely anyone waiting anywhere. There's like a couple stops, like this one was popular because it's this one here, but that's about it. So I think I'm actually just going to delete this line. I'm going to completely get rid of it. It no longer exists. So that means we can sort of move this elevated uh, roadway, or I guess tramway, out of the way. Because ideally what I would like to do is keep this road here, because I don't want to change any of the existing connections. But if we can then plug in the sort of highway road to here, into the bridge, That'd be ideal. So I guess we've got to figure out the way to do that. So I'm going to pause because if we do this with the game running, it's just not going to be a good time for anyone. Uh, let's see. I'm going to remove this. We'll figure out what to do. I, I kind of like the idea of like leaving parts of the city sort of around, like how we left this raised bit here for this bridge that used to exist. I kind of don't mind leaving stuff around. Having said that, though, the annoying thing with the trams is that they just say they don't go anywhere if it's not connected. So I, I don't know what we'll do with that. Anyway, so we've got the bridge going here. Um, if we can use this to connect through to the other bridge. You know what we could do? If we get rid of this, because this is all just tram tramway. And we'll probably... we'll. Keep an eye on that sort of uh, pedestrian bridge there. Because then this gives us space through here to actually run the uh, elevated roadway, which I think if we bring it through here, and then we're probably going to have to track along top of maybe some of the other roads to see how we go. Uh, so I'm thinking this is what we do, but I've got to make sure that we have a road that continues down the bottom and then some that continue, you know, on the expressway. I'm thinking if we just continue an elevated road as... Uh, do we have... We don't have a... Uh, oh, you know what? Let's use this. But we're going to use two of them. So we're going to run them in parallel. So we'll duplicate that road. And I think, does this just automatically just work for me? It does. Okay. But I'm going to flip it, obviously, because we want to have it like that. Yeah! So we'll get these. So while they do four lanes in this section, which should be fine. Because what we'll do... Get rid of that. Let's bring it up. Uh, okay, that's really in my way. I want. I kind of wanted to do this as like a whoops, as a live build because I thought it could be kind of cool. Okay, turn off pretty much all snapping now because I'm just trying to put this where I want it. So I'm thinking here, if we do this right, and then it's gonna go. Actually, you know what? So say, you know what? Maybe maybe a little bit of snapping here would be useful. I was hoping that it would give. Why isn't it give me this one? <laughs> That's the snap I want. Okay, turn that off now. All right, so it's gonna come through here. So if we go basically up and over all of this space here. Uh, and then maybe, wait, where are the, so the other roads are over there. Okay, so that's kind of where I'm going. I'm trying to, because we kind of need to build, you know what, I guess, we, I guess, you know what, we don't care about that, um, that pedestrian pathway. We'll sort about that later. I don't know why it's done, like, the worst elevated section of road that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you know what, I guess because we didn't, we didn't smooth it out at all. Uh, let me do this. Now, actually, you know what? Did someone say there was like a quick slope smooth? I can't remember. A line in place. No. A line is group around central. No. Oh, hang on. You know what? Let me just... Let me just do it the other way. Someone did say there was some quick way to do it, but I forgot what it was now, so I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to select all these. So, slope from there to there, maybe? Actually, I probably should, you know what I should have done? I should have done slope from that height to this height. Yeah. There you go. Um, and then we'll figure out how those join. Because <laughs> joining to this road is going to be the hard part, I think. Uh, okay, go away. I don't want... 
There we go. So this... Okay, obviously... And, okay, I thought I... Why is that... Uh, why is that road gone now? Damn it! I turned off parallel. It's not on. Oh, but it doesn't go away. Did you press the button and it just stays on? Right, okay. <laughs> okay, I guess that's good to know. Alright. Oh, that's not even joined to the... What? Okay. Are we joined and it's all like one piece now, or what's the deal here? Okay, so then this one comes to here. Now this is obviously going to take a little bit of uh, Lindsay Nagling. Uh, why Why is the... It's so strange that the, the point is there, but then the road is like bending there? This is just some weird oddities with these roads. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> as long as it can look okay, then whatever. All right, so whoa. Okay, I might, I might, I might see the issue now. Um, okay. So that makes it smoother, but then the the join in the middle is all over the place. So if we do this and then sort of move this to there, and then it's like a hot. Oh god, what if I do this? And I go straight along. So we get all the roadways that we need, and then we just connect the. See, I wish there was a, a better way to connect all these sort of multiple roads up. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Cool, I love how that really worked. <laughs> I like specifically selected all of these, then did the height alignment, and then it's just like, nah, I'm just gonna deselect everything and not actually do it. Okay, so if these would just work, then we'd be in business, you know? Like if this just goes there nice and neatly, and then... Parallel line tool is still on, even though... It... Okay, remove all those. <laughs> Okay, that does nothing. Pressing that button does nothing and this tool never disappears, so that's interesting. Alright, so then that goes to there, and then this goes to goes to there, and then this goes to there, and then this goes to there. Okay, looking good. Now we're just gonna adjust, go get it energized until they all... You know what? That's actually not too bad. These sections I think are just too small. So the arrows look a little strange. But I'm wondering if we turn on snapping and then just do a little bit of... Okay, now you know what? Turn off snapping. That didn't help us. Just, just move it a little bit further back. It might actually... Wait, is this actually working? Um, I mean, those arrows are still going the wrong way, but... <laughs> Can I, like, um... It'd be nice if those arrows weren't there. Oh, hang on. There's that one spot where... The <laughs> What are these doing? There's like one spot where they're, they're good. You know what? Just leave it. Just leave it, because if we fiddle with it more, it's gonna it's gonna make it worse. Okay, so here's what we do. Uh, turn off traffic lights. We're just gonna fiddle with this little area first. Good lord, look at all these lanes. Okay, so we're gonna have lane there. The middle lane will go to both, so they're all there. It'll split off. This one goes to there. I really wish it didn't have like turning arrows, because it's not really turning. Then the middle lane goes to there. And to there. So those two merge, and then the outer two just can- whoops, just continue on like that. Dude, this is a good... Hopefully that they actually flow smoothly across that. I don't know how well that will actually work, but... That is a really good starting point for us, because it means that we can get these two outer ones, or even the two inner ones, actually. Maybe we should use the inner ones to go, to, uh, go down to the road, or maybe the outer ones would just be easier to sort of flow on. And I guess the question is, do we just join at this corner? I guess so. Um, so if we just do this... I'm just going to join them up directly, because, and then we'll sort of adjust afterwards. Yeah. That's pretty good. So move that there. Move that there. If I can make it a little- I just want it to look a little bit more square, I don't know, I just don't really like- I really wish it was just like, um... A good, like, straight section of road that just joined in perfectly. But that's just- Just not the way it's going to work, is it? Do it something more like that. And then what we really need to do is just like lower these sections down, so it's like starting to descend a little bit. Or maybe not, because this one does not seem to like it. So yeah, we gotta be we gotta be careful with these because they, they get a little messy. Uh, it looks a little it looks quite smooth there, so that's probably where we want it. Now I wonder if we can go up at all, because that's gonna be oh you know what those oh, those lift up beautifully, yeah. Oh, this is working well. Okay, then I'm hoping that this road underneath that I destroyed by accident was actually just a straight section of road, do you reckon it was? Let me turn off, um... Destroying of stuff. Probably should have turned prop anarchy off a long time ago. 
Uh, those pillars underneath. Gonna select those, rotate them. Whoops. And then just move. Hang on. Move them just there. Look at that. This. I'm sorry, this cannot be working as well as I think it is. There's, there's something wrong, isn't there? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I, I felt like this would be way more difficult to join. But basically, now the idea is that uh, we'll, we'll do a connection somewhere else from this road, obviously. Because I said it wasn't really going to be used as a highway uh, when it was the bridge. But there's, there'd be no point in having a bridge that connects all the way through that doesn't have a connection to this downtown area. So we'll definitely fit that in. But that, dude, that is a, that is a work of art right there. That is so good. Alright, so what we're going to do now... Got to use the par parallel tool again. Um, and then I think I might just start building... Because uh, I think we'll connect those individually, otherwise we'll probably get a bit of a nightmare. Um, I'm wondering if we... Because these can probably go... I wonder if we just do it like above the road. Just have them sort of flow above this road here, you know? Because it will have, like, then it just sort of go through like that, and then join up to that road, maybe? I just don't know the best way to do it. Oh, you know what we could do? Uh, if we go from, okay, let me turn off, wait, is collision on or off? I think that means it's off there, right? Uh, so if we do this. Okay. Then we can just drag it sideways onto where it needs to be. So we'll turn off follow terrain, because that will make it follow the train, which we don't want it to, because we just want to slide it sideways. Like that, and then we could do custom columns if we want. Oh, look at this. This is... beautiful. I don't know, I guess what we will do is maybe... we'll probably just end up deleting the columns, maybe? You know what, let me select them, I'll just delete them. And then we can just put in something custom later. Right, get rid of those. So like that, and then basically we have this... If this comes down this way, maybe. We might destroy some buildings here, maybe just to make a little bit of room, because otherwise we have to do like a really sharp turn there, which I don't know that I want to do. Having something nice and, and like flowing through here might be a little bit nicer. Might even be able to get um like an exit through, because we've got a huge section of land here that we can probably use for this. Uh, so let's go here. I'm going to basically follow that section of road, probably just straight along. Is that? That's probably parallel, right? So we'll do that. There you go. Then we just select all the points. If I could, if the building wasn't in the way. Uh, we can get that one. Can I get the other one, do you reckon? Or is it going to be a little bit annoying? Uh, let's go here, and then we'll, if we just deselect everything, and then hopefully hold shift. Hey, There we go. And then, let me just go back to this one. I should just be able to move the whole thing. And then obviously we just join the corners manually, because that will actually work probably quite well and pretty easily. I'm just going to say, make sure they're all the same height. Which I think they were anyway. Oh, that's that's a thing of beauty right there. And then... Comes down this way. You know what, can we just... Can we just duplicate that section of the road? Do you reckon that'll be possible? Just have it run here. A little long, that's okay, we can probably shorten it. Dude, this is good. Oh, I'm liking this. Uh, we could probably even just do a little bit of custom road work here. Sort of just have it curve here a little bit. See, maybe have it off to the side of the road now or something. And this one's over here, maybe. Uh, so I need this to curve. Probably needs to come further to get that curve properly. Uh, so if we curve it like this. And then maybe what we do, we sort of just have it maybe run a little wide here, and then it sort of joins back up here, because then that should hopefully leave room for connections. Or maybe we don't do that. Maybe that's a bad idea. I think, you know what, I think that's going to be way messier, so let's just keep them together. Not break them up. No need to do that. So what we'll do instead, I think maybe if we snap it now, will it stay in line? Oh. Thought I had snapping on. I guess not. I mean, I do, but it's like snapping to something weird. But that's actually fine. That, that sort of beginning of the curve there is probably okay. All right, then back over this way. We're going to join this. I know um, the, these corners are actually going to be pretty sharp. I'm going to be honest. 
Um, and I know I was going to say that road episodes are probably not everyone's favorite episode. But, oh, it's, it's like fun. Like, doing this stuff is like a fun little puzzle to work out. Oh, that, I didn't mean to... Damn it, parallel tool. The parallel tool's amazing, but it like, doesn't turn off, ever. <laughs> Annoying. Alright, go away. <laughs> let me do that again. Uh, let me do the inner one first. These are pretty tight. But, it's okay. We'll sort of fix it up afterwards. Okay, so that's going to go around here. And this one there, and then that's obviously got a flip. Alright. I mean, they're tight, but it's probably okay to have that as a... Because it's like an inner city sort of highway section. I feel like it sort of makes sense to have it. I mean, even though it's got like quite sharp corner. Oh, I don't know why that lagged so much trying to do that one. Was it auto-saving there? Yeah, it kind, of, it kind of makes sense to have these sort of sharper corners, so I'm not too, not too worried by it, really. Like, that's not too bad, I don't think. Like, and obviously you'd see it coming, so you'd be like, oh, slow down a little bit. Okay, then this section here, I think we need a little bit more. This is very close, so I might move this one along. A little bit further back, so we can get a nicer corner there. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be just lovely. Look at this. So that'll go to there. Oh, dude, this is going to be good. I really hope it is good, because otherwise I'll be sad. <laughs> I'm excited by it, so then if it, if it gets to the point where it's like it's finished, but like it's not good at all. Uh, the columns are going to all be all over the place, so we'll have to check those out soon. So that comes through. Oh, and you know what? I'm so happy about this section here, though. If this works, like, smoothly, which, by the way, speaking of smoothly, let me enable smooth flow of traffic through it. I think that's all I have to do, just those ones. Uh, so that should actually be really, really good. Okay, and then through here, uh, this is where we probably do want this again to get the sort of smooth connection. Then we'll, we'll figure out that, yeah, we'll figure out the pedestrian path underneath soon. Uh, obviously, we have to rebuild that section because it doesn't join it when you do that for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it just doesn't, so just get over it, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Wait, did this, how did this section not join? Just this, oh, we built a pa another parallel road. Sorry, yep. It's a parallel road tool. Uh, it doesn't need to go this high, though, is the annoying thing. Um, I'm wondering if we can get that, do you reckon we get that rail lower? Uh, probably not, because it's like... Because I'm just concerned about this pathway, I mean like, because this highway up here is going way too high up, it's just so unnecessary, it needs to be like probably that high at most. Because it just needs to go over the roads underneath. You know what, we might need to do the pedestrian pathway going up higher. Because it really just needs to be there, and that's actually enough clearance I think to get over all the roads. So that's all it needs to be, and then this pedestrian pathway is obviously in the way. So what we might do- oh, you know what, I guess what we can do is just have... ...pedestrian pathway underneath, because now there's nothing there. Oh yeah, that would probably work. Uh, we'll keep the- we'll keep the sort of, uh, over- overpass, and then we might just have to do a road on the- uh, pedestrian path underneath or something there. Okay, so then... So we've actually curved it in probably a little too much. Uh, so I might actually... ...direct it this way more, and then... More like this, because then that'll get a nice angle here. That's still too much, actually. Really needs to be like that, maybe. Then go there, and then we can sort of just curve into it. Yeah, that should be okay. Alright, so then move this here. So these, thankfully, because I've remembered to turn off. That's something I always forget, is to turn off like the follow terrain, which is sometimes useful, but that means when you drag stuff around, um, it, uh, it does like... Get rid of that too. Yeah, there we go. So we'll, we'll customize that in a minute. It means, yeah, it like sort of pops up and changes height as you drag it around. So doing it this way is sometimes better. That's all right. But obviously has to raise up a little bit after the bridge, but that's okay. So then what we'll do... Should we use parallel road tool? We love parallel road tool. Needs to flip the other way though. Um, is that... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is going to come out to... It's really hard to get to it because it's like okay, turn up, turn off road guides because I can probably just eyeball it to there. Uh, okay, this definitely needs to get further. Down. I reckon it needs to join probably there. So let's do that. So bring these way back. So we have a short section of road there. I reckon that's where it needs to join. So we go like this because that'll give us. A pretty nice curve. Where's my snap? There it is. 
to there, and then we do straight slope so we hopefully get a nice transition. That joins through. Obviously these buildings need to move. Probably keep that one's fine. And then we just have to rejoin this parallel road, because it's not smart enough to do that. I bet there's a way to do it. I bet I'm just doing it wrong, but, you know, in any case, we'll just do it manually for now, because that's the only way I know how. Uh, da, 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 where is the section? You know what? We'll just do it like this. And if we need to adjust it, we can. That looks fine to me. And then through to here. About there-ish, maybe. Looks pretty good. Then I might even just adjust some of these buildings slightly. I mean, they're still pretty good. Like, I want that highway running pretty close to buildings anyway. That looks pretty good to me. So now, effectively, what we have is this highway running through here, and it connects up to this bridge and continues on. So it means you could flow from, I guess, basically the entry of the region down through here, uh, well, when we connect these two up, obviously, and continue through here without hitting any traffic lights. Uh, except for here, because <laughs> it's still a set that which we never really solved how to do that bit. Uh, so yeah, that that was a fun one. Um, yeah, so I guess we need to continue this section. I wonder if we can... No, what do we do? Because, okay, here's the thing. So we're ending up with a bus lane now. Uh, we've got... Maybe we should still have the entrance of the bus lane just here. That will just join the highway here. And then this one, we can do like an exit lane from this four lane somewhere down here. Uh, and then it can sort of just drop down to the two or something. So let's bring let's bring these back, except for maybe the uh, the bus lane one. We'll keep that there for now. We'll figure that out in a minute. So we'll get rid of that. So these will continue on. So we're gonna get this one. And I might actually just do these separately because otherwise I think it's gonna get confusing. Uh, so through through along to. Okay, this is how it's trying to go down. I, I want it to like. Because we need to basically come along this road, so it needs to sort of maybe sort of swoop in a little bit. You know what? I might actually want the other road there. So let me go add the two-lane Bradfield Highway. Now, how close does it need to be? Because that's going to be too far away, isn't it? What did I, I think I might have done 10 or something. Is that about right? That looks pretty spot on, actually. Okay, so that's going to come here. Let me try and do it like, is that one section? Okay. That's good. I forgot to flip it though, obviously. Also, I guess it doesn't really matter because we're going to destroy that bit anyway. Um, Alright, so that's going to go there. So, okay. <laughs> okay, that's, yep, yeah, that's going to be that height there. Okay. So that'll go there. Then what I'm thinking is then we can have an exit lane from this four lane come down here somewhere. And that'll just join that bit quite easily. Uh, okay, so then... Oh, you know what, I'll build this section first, otherwise I'm going to have to keep turning that on and off. Okay, so it's going to come through here. Damn it. The stupid, um... Stop snapping to the road. <laughs> okay, go there, fine. It's not where I want it at all. But then we can sort of adjust it. Okay, so grab these, grab these. Um... I mean, actually, those those two are probably okay. It's these two that they need to be sort of parallel to this road. But then what we want to do is maybe, whoops, bring these more there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay, looking good. And then like this, curve those out a little bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh, looking good, looking good. And then, I'm gonna turn this down to a two-lane, because this is what it's gonna need to be. Probably from this point, maybe. So then we can come down here, get rid of that bit. Um, do that, then it'll be like... I don't know where exactly this will join. I guess there for now. Sure, this is just... It's all its all a work in progress. It's figuring it out as we go. Hope you guys enjoy this, because... I mean, I do. That, that exit looks so bad, I'm sorry. That, don't worry about it, just leave that for now, it's fine. Um, okay, so that goes there, then we just join these guys up. Obviously that needs to be joined too, but like, you know, we're nearly there. So, this one and this one, I just want to pull them in closer now, because we've obviously gone down in lane size. Maybe even that one. That's okay, that's fine. A little bit of gap there as it sort of splits off. You know what, actually we might be able to... I might be able to adjust that a little bit. Oh, nice. Uh, you know what? Delete that. I'll, um... 
Try to make this look nicer now. It was, it was it was annoying me too much that it already looked terrible, and we barely started. Uh, see, the 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 trick is to get it to like try and line up smoothly with the road, and then still have like a nice exit. Now the other thing is, I don't really know if we're doing we're going to be doing entrances anywhere onto this um, elevated roadway because we've got all these exits coming from over there. But it, the, we don't- I don't have any entrances to join it. Maybe we, we could probably do one through here, maybe. That might- that actually might work. Especially off this one-way road, if we do it coming off of there and come up, then you can join and go that way. But I don't think we'll have any... exit- oh, maybe in here, though. No, I don't- I don't think we need an exit there. Oh, no, but then that means we'd still force all the trucks coming this way to get to the industrial area and still go through the roads, which would be dumb. Okay, we need an exit further up. Alright, well, that's- a problem for another day. For today, we're going to be figuring this bit out. Um, okay, now let's do it like this. We're going to go, you know, I'll use this one first. So here to, where is that going to? To there. Mm -hmm. Looking good to me. And then, yeah, yeah, I know you're upset. You won't be upset though, it's going to be good for the economy. And this capitalist society that we've built. Is that too low? I can't really tell. Oh no, that's actually fine. There's all the pillars. We have to- we basically have to go through and change all of those, which I'm not going to do live in this video. Alright, so where's the bit that wasn't connected? Over here, this guy. So we'll redo that section. Which will be like this, and like that. There you go. Just give it a little curve. And then yeah, we'll still have that bus lane one join there. So that's where this will start. And then this has no exit until the other side, basically. Um, then... That's looking pretty good, because now that should connect all the way through, ignoring all the pillars that we have on all the roads, blocking everything. That is now a continuous stretch of highway uh, through the area. So, what we're going to want to do, so obviously we have an exit here and an entrance going that way, so we've already got an exit there, that's pretty good. We probably want... We could potentially do maybe an exit through here somewhere. Because it's not very high up, like we could take up some park space and just do a lane coming down there. Uh, I definitely want to do an entrance. Did I say I wasn't going to do that now? I'm going to do it now. Uh, <laughs> did I say- <laughs> Did I do that? Uh, it's going to come through here. Off that building. Off that, um, area. So we're going to go through here. Okay, can we, there's so many road guys. Can you go away, please? Alright, so what we're going to do, because we've got all these buildings here, I reckon we could probably bunch a lot of these up and actually have plenty of room for this roadway. Which is good, because it's exactly what I want to do. So that road will come through here. Sneak it through. Oh, sneak attack. Look at that. Um, I don't know if I want to allow a right-hand turn there, though, because it's pretty, like, pretty sharp from that. I guess you wouldn't really need to, either. You can come from this way or that way. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so it's going to go there. And then it's going to go... Like that, maybe? That's probably fine, yeah? That was pretty good. If we just move these buildings a little bit. Put that one there and then just put this on the other side. Even turn it a little bit so it like... Oh no, screw that. Looks dumb. This one needs to turn though. I'm gonna have this turns here and squidges in there a little bit. This one can squidge over some more. Then that should leave us plenty of room for this one. To sit normally hopefully on the road. Maybe just like a little further set back from the road. There you go, so then that goes there. Look at that. So now we have an entrance- oh, That building with the tree on it was annoying. Uh, so now, now we have an entrance here, which will allow you to sort of, you know, jump on the highway and like leave through the region that way. Uh, it does- we don't have a way to get to the other road. Like, that's something I haven't figured out yet, is how, especially on this entrance here, or if we build another entrance, how to like swap which one of these you're on from further back, because... They both go different places, which becomes a slight issue down here. I mean, I guess we could always just try and connect up another lane that goes around or something. I don't know. Anyway, I don't I don't want to unpause it yet, because we're not quite done. So, we've got an entrance there. We've got an exit there. Entrance going back that way. We probably need another entrance going this way as well. Uh, from further back, like, all the way back over here somewhere. To get trucks off the road. But I guess for now, we can probably at least run the simulation on that. I might see if we can get a uh, a truck exit over here somewhere, maybe. Well, the way we're going to do it, I'm thinking, is have this a lot lower. 
So maybe this section drops down. Mm -hmm. All right, you with me? And then we sort of just smooth slope it back up from, I don't know, there to there. So it's like a smoother, you know, descent or whatever. So that will sort of drop down. Then at the bottom level, we will have a section, like an exit. And then it will sort of come back up this way. Whoops, I did not mean to select that. Maybe one further, because this is also going up a hill already, so it's going to be pretty steep, I reckon. That sort of slowly joins the height again. So that means we have a room down the bottom to actually, you know what, that, that works out perfectly with this like four lane road right there. Oh, that was a happy accident. Now, I guess the question is, do we just do like a one lane exit or do we do a two lane exit? Maybe a two lane exit. Uh, so this is actually there. But where is the, um, the actual point is there, which is a little close. Maybe we... So maybe we just go a little further down with it. Sort of just move where this point actually is. I can't really see what's going on though, it's a slight problem. Hang on, let's do this. So those two join, that's good, I like that. And then I've got to go back and do all the pillars, which that will not be in this video. <laughs> I said maybe these entrances and that wouldn't be in this video, and they were. But the, uh, the damn uh, pillars will not be in this video. All right, so this will just come further down because I think we just need a little bit more room. And I know that looks atrocious, don't worry. <laughs> there we go, bring that up. Now, probably, again, probably need this to be... Maybe like a little bit more of a 90 degree turn because... So that you don't have to do like such a sharp turn on this road, you know? Like that inner lane will probably be a bit sharp, but that's still better than what it was. Um, can we get like a... I just hate this like stepping effect that it gives it, it's really annoying. And like all this as well. Good lord. <laughs> that's why we raised up the road initially, because it was just like, it just made it smooth. <laughs> Look at this place! Uh, we need some new stuff to build up through here, because this is just, like, looking so bad. It's so rough around the edges here now. It's ridiculous. Look, we've just, like, raised up this whole section just to get it to work. Um, but you know what, though? I think this will actually be quite good. So, this will come in. And these two just here and here. So they won't cross over each other yet. And you know what? We probably don't... So you can merge there. So what I'll do is I'll say you can... Whoa, that's a huge merging point. Uh, and I can go... Well, actually, they can go forward and there. I'm only letting them merge one lane over because that's probably all they're going to need. That one can also go straight. Because uh, then what we got to do... Let me set up this. We're going to have right-hand lane. Uh, but we can't go forward, actually. So this actually simplifies it a lot. So two right-hand lanes, two left-hand lanes. I guess I didn't actually need to set this up because... Whoops, I set those up wrong. Um, so now all that does is mean that if you want to... If you're here and you want to turn the other way, you make sure you're in this lane, then you merge across, you go there, and then you can turn that one. Yeah, they should be able to get to whichever lane they need, whichever direction they go. Uh, removing that third direction makes it a lot easier, actually. Okay, so the simulation has resumed. Uh, we now have an exit. We now join this road all the way through. Oh, look at all these cars. But this might just be the residual leftovers uh, of, you know, people that were forced to go that way. Oh, God, what is this? <laughs> what is this merge? Uh, I wonder if we need more lanes down the bottom here. Uh, we don't really have room, though, so I, I think I might just forget that. Uh, you know, I think it's working. I think this will probably update, because at the moment, I think because I just changed the whole layout of it, I think it's kind of messed up a little bit. Let's have a look now. If I click on this bridge... Oh yeah, there's some people coming down this way now. Look at this. Oh yeah! If I click on this whole like harbour bridge bit too... Oh look at this, they're coming along the highway, they're coming along this way. Yes! It goes all the way through the city now! Yes! Uh, I wonder how many people use this. You know what? Look at this! If I click on this road now... There's almost like... There was one car entering the city that is using this road to get through the rest of the city. So that means everyone else entering the city um, is going to end up using this bridge to get through. So now, this is basically, this has literally become the old road. Especially because it was a tolled road, which we're no longer tolling anymore. 
So that's pretty cool. Oh, Let's Bridge is a good series. I like it. I mean, we, we have not solved this problem. We still have so many cars trying to go this way, which I'm actually I'm actually wondering where, where are they all going? Because we could probably fix that with entrances and exits. There's still a lot of people coming to this area, which is fair because that is the only exit to this whole area. That's why I think maybe if we do one, really do one here, maybe. No, oh, we had another building pop up there. All right, I gotta go through and fine tune this. I was gonna say maybe we could do an exit through here somewhere that comes down, um, or even you know what? What if we did one here that jumped that we replace like this? Oh, we could do that right now. Like, we've just, like, repurposed this section of roadway or something. That'd be cool. So it's like, they're like, oh, yeah, we've still got the tramway there, but we've sort of repurposed it to a, uh, to a little highway road now. Oh, I didn't rebuild the pathway for the pedestrians. I gotta do that. That's actually quite important. Okay, so that's gonna go there. All right, so that goes there, and then if we just join this... No bending, please. Just straight on like that, and then flip it, obviously. Yeah, this could actually be quite good. And it'll be so much more useful than- remember how crap the, um... The tram was? The, the, that- that tramway that was left over there... ...was one that I had built that literally zero people used. That's how bad it was. I need to fix that, too. Alright, so this- this, uh, pedestrian... I don't know how we're gonna do this. Um... Because we can't, can we go under, really? I don't know, like, it's a bit... Because even if we cross over, like, there's no... There's not really any easy way to get pedestrians over there now. Because that is so, that is already raising up quite a lot. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people going this way now, too. Like that. Yeah. Not a lot, but more people going that way. What if we should do like a connection to the stadium? I don't know, I'm getting carried away with this now. I gotta, I gotta make sure I don't get carried away in the sense that uh, I just <laughs> put elevated highways everywhere. Um, I think this is good though. So we got an exit there, which is good. There's people using that exit. And then we've got... Um, people coming this way, which I'm gonna assume are using this exit. Yeah, there's people using this exit here. Okay, you know what? This uh, we'll, I'll leave this here because um, I'll get I'll get your feedback in that as well. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, it's part of the crematorium. I think this is good, but I think we still have a lot of people just using this intersection because there's no real good connections through here. So I might see what we can do about that. And then I got to obviously remove all those pillars, and we've got to do what else? What else? What else? I don't know. Oh, that pedestrian pathway. Yeah, I'll figure something out there. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.